The greatest story ever told. Tonight we present The Resurrection, the third in a series of three Lenten dramas, The Betrayal, The Crucifixion, and The Resurrection, based upon episodes in The Greatest Life Ever Lived. Outside the gates of a Roman palace in Jerusalem, the palace of Pontius Pilate, there is now no hired mob. Only one man approaches the gate, and the guard challenges him. Who goes there? I am Joseph. Of Arimathea. I have come to see Pontius Pilate. Uh, matter of life and death, I suppose. That's what they always say. This is a matter only of death. It concerns the burial of a man. That can't wait. We'll see. Sergeant of the God. Man who calls himself Joseph of Arimathea wants to talk to His Excellency. Says it concerns the burial of a man. What shall I do? Have him wait. We'll see. You heard? Yes. I'll wait. Mm. Hey, did you hear about the excitement this morning? Yes, I did. Crazy, isn't it? Man getting himself killed over a few words? You know, they'd have let him off if he'd only said he didn't mean it. Yes. Imagine a man dying for words. Why? What's it get him? Something you Romans haven't discovered yet. Hmm? Maybe not. When I saw him staggering down that road, carrying that cross on his back, I said to myself, there goes a fool or the bravest man that ever lived. He was no fool. You know, they don't come any braver than Roman soldiers. Everybody in the world knows that. But they couldn't get one of us to die just for a few words. Oh, sir. We've got to know what we're dying for. Land or treasure. Something real, something hard, something a man can see and feel, not just words. All right. Huh? You may bring the man in. Pilot will see him. Aye, sir. All right. Come along. I'll take you to His Excellency. Oh, it's you, Joseph. Well, what can I do for you? Your Excellency, a man has died on a cross on Calvary. I would like to have his body released. You knew the man? I did. And you want to show him the honor of burying him? Why? Do I have to tell you why? Hmm. I thought you hated him. I didn't hate him. I had nothing to fear from him. He was my friend. Friend? Yes. He was friend to every man who'd let him be a friend. And yet your people asked to have Barabbas freed instead of him. My people? Oh, no, pilot. A hired mob paid to stand outside your palace gates. A mob speaking on cue like actors on a Roman stage. They asked for Barabbas. But they told me they that... They told me. Pilot. I'm afraid as a Spanish warrior serving Rome, you're strong and cunning. But as a statesman, you're weak and innocent as a baby. How dare you speak to me that way? Since last night, I've come to dare many things. From now on, the truth will be spoken more freely in this land. For one man has shown us that it's not so hard to die for truth. Truth. Yes, I remember. I asked him, what is truth? And he answered? With his eyes only. But it was enough. Such a man deserves a decent burial. You may have the body. Thank you, Father. How will you bury him? I have a tomb, which I had bought for myself. A cave carved out of rock. 
He shall lie there. And the manner of burial? In the custom of my people, of course. The multitude loved him. He was one of us. How much they loved him, you'll know before long. You are threatening again. To men who bow to political expediency, any fact can be a threat. You'll find that out, pilot. Yes. You'll find that out. You sent for us, pilot. Why? I sent for you because of the way Joseph of Arimathea spoke. It had a nasty undertone. If there's going to be trouble, you'll have to patch up things or face the consequences, Anna. Wait, pilot. You can't be swayed by every breeze that blows. As for explaining this to the people, don't worry. We'll do that. But why did Joseph come here? Just to make threats? No. He asked for permission to bury him. And when you refused, he began making the threats? I didn't refuse. But the man deserved a decent burial, didn't he? Yes, after all, Anna, he's out of harm's way now. Don't you understand what's happened here? What do you mean? You suspect something, Anna? Of course. It's not the burial that's important. What do you think he means to do with the body if not bury it? Of course he'll bury it. But that's only the beginning. You've heard them, his disciples, talking about the fact that one day he would rise. Even he himself gave an inkling of it when he said, the temple would be destroyed and he would rebuild it within three days. The temple? What's that got to do with it? Everything. It was not the temple he spoke of at all, but the temple of the soul, which is the body. He meant that his body would be destroyed and that it would rise in three days. It is impossible. Uh, isn't it, Anna? You know that? And I know that. But if the body were to be buried, and then were to be secreted away in the dark by night by his followers. They could claim that he had risen and gone off by himself. Don't you see? Uh, yes, it's yes. It's too late. Joseph's claimed the body already. But we can use his own plot to confound him. We can make sure the body never arises. If it stays in the tomb past the three days, we'll place a guard there. We'll seal the tomb. Place a guard? With your permission, of course. And if I refuse? Would you refuse, pilot? I've had enough of this. I've washed my hands of the whole thing. I'm sick of it. Have you ever been in a storm at sea, pilot? Of course. And been sick from time to time? I'm a soldier, not a sailor. Yes, I've been sick at sea. It's the same in this case. Sick as you may be, you're in this now. You better stay with the ship till we all reach shore. Do you understand? Joseph was right. I'm not much of a politician. All right. You may place a guard. Thank you, pilot. Now we'll go and take care of matters. Come along. Son-in-law. Yes, Anna. Captain, have your guards roll a huge rock up to the entrance of the tomb. It must be so large that it cannot be moved even by five men. Do you understand, Captain? Yes, sir. And it must cover the whole entrance to the tomb so that none can enter it, even the smallest child. Yes, sir. We'll search for the rock at once. There is no need to do that. I noticed one as we passed by on the way. Leave two men to guard the tomb. Bring the rest of them with me. We'll put the rock in place now. A little more, men. Is that enough, Anna? Roll it closer. There's still some space between the rock and the entrance to the tomb. Closer. All right, men. Again. Good. That's fine, fine. Now remember, two men must stand guard each hour of the day and night. Is that understood? Yes, sir. It will be done. Now, Caiaphas, there'll be no false miracles here. 
No disciples stealing in during the dark of night and carrying off the body. It's in there to stay. Back and forth, back and forth. And what for? Who knows? Who's afraid of a dead man? Ah, oh, there's some people who think it's their duty, their duty to find things for soldiers to do. Yeah, like guarding a stone that guards a tomb. Oh. Well, keep walking. Wait. What? What is it? Someone's coming. Get ready for trouble. Got your spear? Yeah. But there'll be no trouble. Look, two women... This is the place, Mary. He lies here. Yes. We must wait here. And pray. The master. He suffered so. Well, what do you want here, woman? The master lies in there. We've come to mourn. No one is to loiter here. Is it loitering to mourn for the dead? Hey, wait, I know you. Aren't you the one they call Mary of Magdalene? I am. <laughs> when I'm dead, I don't want the likes of you mourning for me. You'll not talk that way to her. I'll not take orders from you either. Now, move on. Oh, please. Please allow us to remain here. Just let us stay for a while and we'll, we'll go soon without a word. You won't make any bargains with me. Come on, move on, both of you. Don't touch her. I'll do what I choose to do when I... Thunder. Thunder out of a cloudless sky. Thunder. The rock, it moves. It moves by itself. You, we saw it. Say it once more, Mary. I can't believe it. Please, Peter, she's upset. We saw it. The thunder first, and then the rock slowly rolled away. The guards were struck senseless. And then we ran to tell you, John. Oh, Please, don't weep. <laughs> Can this be a trick, John? Maybe they've tried to steal his body away. Shouldn't we go and see? By all means, come, Peter. We'll go to the tomb. Oh, wait. Wait, I'll go with you. <laughs> True. True, the rock is rolled away. Hurry, Peter, hurry. I see, John. Should... Should we go in? I... Don't know. But I must see. I'm going in, John. It's so dark. It's difficult to see. Wait. Feel something. The shroud. Empty. He's gone. Gone. Come, Peter. We must tell the others. We must find out what has happened here. If we can. Come, quickly. What did you find? He's gone, Mary. Gone? It can't be true. But it is. Now we must go back and tell the others. Are you coming with us? No, I'll wait here. I'll wait here. You may be in danger. Leave me. I'll wait here alone. Take care, Mary. Gone. Gone. Woman... Why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? They've taken away my lord. And I don't know where they've placed him. 
If you are the gardener here, tell me, please. Have you removed him from here? Tell me where and I will take him away. Mary. Master. Master. Touch me not. For I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my father, and your father, and to my God, and your God. It can't be! It can't be! Don't shout so, Caius. Well, it's a trick! You want me to believe that the stone rolled away by itself? I don't want to believe it either, but... But what? Under rock move. So it move. So it move. Oh, stop jabbering, you idiot, and get out of here! Come, come, we'll go. Under the rock rolling. Rolling and nobody there. Get out! Get out! What kind of a trick was it, Annis? You know about these things. You know everything. Tell me. I know everything. Yes. Well, what could it have been? You're frightened. Eh, Caiaphas? Well, I'm not frightened. I'm, I'm bewildered. I, I, I don't know what... I don't know. You don't know. After all this, now you begin to realize you don't know. You're frightened, Caiaphas. I can see it in your coward's face. Now, please, Alice, please, don't talk that way to me. Maybe I have made a mistake, but I meant it only for the best for both of us. Quiet. They ran away. All his followers ran away. Like frightened sheep. Yes, and that part worked, didn't it? Did it? Why do you look at me that way? Fool, fool, fool. What is it? Yes, they ran away. And if we had kept him in jail, they would have... Stayed away. Well, we did better. Yes, we killed him. We did better. They'll be back. All of them. In just as long as it takes for the word to travel, they'll be... Don't you realize what has happened? He's shown them that you can die with grace and courage for an idea that you believe in. And that dying that way means more than living... Any other way. It's been proven. Proven. <laughs> Alice, what is it? Listen to me. Listen to you. You wonder why I laugh. You can wonder. You, a stupid fool, risen to power through lies and dishonesty. You had a hand in proving so great a thing. History has played you a strange, vengeful trick, Caiaphas. You should complain against it, for it has placed your littleness against the greatness of this thing that has happened. You miserable, lying traitor. Me? Traitor? You betrayed a whole people with this rotten deed. But as the master himself might have said, God have mercy on you. I don't like the way you're talking, Alice. We, we can brazen this thing out. If we don't, the people will take their revenge on us. Let them. I won't fight it. For I have seen it. I should have known when Pilate asked him, What is truth? And he answered only with his eyes. He is truth, Caiaphas, and truth murdered and buried will rise, as it always has, and always will. You, you believe this? 
You believe what has happened? Tell me, do you, Annas? I almost wish I didn't. <laughs> And he spoke to me. Believe me, John. Peter. He spoke to me. We believe, Mary. And I denied him. Three times. Please, Peter, don't think of that now. You were no less courageous than the rest of us. And when he used to call us ye of little faith, I didn't know what he meant. But when danger came, we were of little faith. But now... He is risen. Risen, Peter. Will he ever forgive us for what we did? Before we deserted him, he knew and forgave. Now he sent Mary to tell us that he is risen. Come, Peter. We must gather the others. We must stand together. And from now on, we shall never be afraid again. Come. I just received the word. I came here as quickly as I could. Were you followed, Thomas? No, the city is quiet. No more guards than usual. Tell me what I heard. Is it true? Can it be true? Yes, Thomas. It is true. All the way here, I said it over and over to myself. And... And? I could not believe. Did you hear what Thomas said, John? Thomas. If he hadn't appeared to us after Mary had seen him... Perhaps we would not believe either. But we saw him. We saw him. Now do you believe? Don't all look at me that way. Is it my fault if I'm skeptical by nature? Sometimes I wish I didn't doubt so much. I do. I cannot believe unless my doubts are satisfied. But the rest of us believe, Thomas. Have I ever been like the rest of you? Wanted to be? And not. When he lived... He still lives, I tell you. Please, Peter, let him say it in his own way. Thank you, John. When he lived, he indulged my doubts. He explained to me. Taught me patiently. Now that he's gone, I'd be content with less. I want to believe. I want to believe. Please, Thomas. You must understand, John. I can't believe, not until I see the nail wounds in his hands, the wound the soldier's spear made in his side. Else, I will not believe. Master. Master, it is he. Master, it is you. Peace be to you. Master, Master, you know me well. I am Thomas, and being Thomas, I doubt. I must have proof before I believe. Thomas, reach out thy finger and behold my wounds. Yes, Master. The nail wounds. The wounds. And bring hither thy hand and put it into my side. A wound. The soldier's spear. Oh, master, master. And be not faithless 
but believing. My Lord and my God. Because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. <laughs>